Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to take a simple box of strawberry cake mix and I'm going to show you how to make a strawberry earthquake cake. Yeah, we're going to put some ingredients together. We're going to shake it up like an earthquake. Okay, maybe not shake it up, but we're going to stir things around. Y'all ready? Y'all come on down and let's start preparing the cake mix first. Okay, we're going to start making the cake batter. Now you want the strawberry flavor, so it's really yummy. Now this box is 15.25 ounce size. Now if there's a difference in ounces, that's totally fine. All right, we're just gonna put this into a large bowl. Oh, it smells good. Now what we're going to do is create the batter using the ingredients on the back of the cake box. Now I'm going to switch up the ingredients to make this more of a bakery style cake. So instead of water, I'm going to be adding in milk. I've got one cup and I'm going to be adding in half a cup of butter. Now this is in place of the oil. This is going to make a nice fluffy cake. And then we're going to crack in three eggs. This will definitely give it some fluffiness. <laughs> All right, let's get that other one in there. There we go. We're just going to take a whisk and we're going to blend this all together. Now you can use an electric hand mixer if you want or a wooden spoon to mix up your cake batter. All right, we've got that all combined all the way down to the bottom. We're going to be using a 9 by 13 baking dish for this recipe. I'm going to take some cooking spray. Now this has flour in it. I tend to use this a lot when I'm making any type of cake recipes or anything that's in a baking dish that's a baking recipe. It just helps release your cake from the dish better. Here we go. All right, we're going to add our cake batter. I want to go get my spatula. Get the rest of that out of there. Because, you know, that's like a piece of cake. Look at that. You don't want to leave all that in there. All right, we're going to smooth it out. Make it nice and even. Next thing we're going to do is sprinkle on one cup of white chips. Now you can find these in your baking aisle right next to the chocolate chips. These are just going to be the white ones. You can overfill, it's okay, on this dessert. <laughs> All right, let's shake them on there like an earthquake, right? Now pick it up and shake it all along. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna shake it up quite yet. Do not place this in the oven yet. We need to get another layer on here. Okay, we're going to start in a large bowl. We're going to add eight ounces of cream cheese. Make sure that your cream cheese is brought to room temperature and is nice and soft. Now, if you've just pulled your cream cheese out of the refrigerator, you can unwrap it, put it on a microwave safe place and just pop it in there for about 15 seconds till it's nice and soft. To the cream cheese, we're going to add half a cup of melted butter and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, we're gonna take the electric hand mixer. We're just gonna blend this together till it's nice and smooth.
I love this electric hand mixer. It is so smooth, it's so quiet. Plus it's got the silicone grips on the bottom, as you can see right here, they're attached. All right, once we get that all creamed together, we're gonna start adding powdered sugar. I'm gonna add one cup at a time. There we go, one. We'll blend that together. And our last cup. <laughs> you know you're baking when you make a mess. All right, let's cream that together. I'm just going to grab a spatula, pull down my sides, give it another mix. We're just combining it. We don't want to over mix. Oh yeah, that's very smooth. I like that. All right, look at that. Yep. Smooth. You can definitely lick the beaters. Nice little snack while you're waiting for your cake. All right, I'm just going to chop up into tiny pieces, about one cup of fresh strawberries. You can also use frozen strawberries if you want. I would thaw them out and then just drain off any excess juice and then just chop those up. All right, let's add that to our batter. We're gonna fold it in. like that. We're going to bring back over our cake batter with the white chocolate chips and we're going to dollop our strawberry mixture here all over it. You know, like an earthquake shakes things up. <laughs> have fun with this one. I have lots of earthquake cake recipes out there. I guess when you say lots, I'm probably talking three or four. They're fun to make and they're delicious to eat because there's just layers of goodness for sure. It's springtime, Mother's Day is coming up, summertime is coming, and also barbecues. Bring it to a church group, a potluck. All right, let's shake things up. We're going to take a knife and we're going to swirl to give it that earthquake effect. Get into that pink cake batter and just kind of pull it through. Just swirl it though. You don't want to cover it up and have one big pink mass in there. We're going to turn this into a hot mess. That's what you want. Oh, look at the swirl. That's it. That's all you need. Don't overdo it. All right, does that look like an earthquake? You don't want it to look even all the way across. It's got to look, like I said, a hot mess. I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees. We're gonna bake our cake for about 40 to 45 minutes until it's done. Now you just wanna take a toothpick, just find the cake section, put it through there and pull it up and just make sure the cake batter is cooked through. Now I'm gonna finish this off with two more ingredients that are easy to do. Y'all come back. Okay, it's been pulled out of the oven. I let it rest for about one hour just to cool down the whole cake, which is what you want to do, and that way it doesn't shake. When you pull it out, it's going to be very puffy on the top, and it's going to feel like it's a little shaky on the top, but that's fine. Let it cool down completely, and it'll pull itself together because you got that cream cheese mixture all through here. Tested the cake with a toothpick, and it was completely done. Does this look like an earthquake happened or what to our cake? Mmm, smells delicious. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, I've taken some strawberries and I just sliced through them really close to the top of the strawberry, just making slices. And then I just fan them out. That way everybody can get a strawberry on top. 
and just fan them out like that. Here's my cake slice. We got to put some Cool Whip on it. Some Ready Whip. Little dollop. Oh yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? And we'll place the strawberry right on top. There's my strawberry earthquake cake. What do we need? A fork. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. You know, it may look a hot mess on the outside, but let me tell you, it is very scrumptious on the inside. That cake is very moist, very light. It's very refreshing, too. That is good. Mmm. Y'all want a bite? I think you have to make your own. All right. Y'all, make sure you give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below what you think. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Go down below. Check out my other earthquake cakes. I will list them down below. Or you can find them on my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com. Just type in earthquake cakes. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mm.